Ew, who the f is this catfish? The other day, I was just chilling in my room watching CSI when I get a text from my cousin Katie. This guy from church says he's dating you? Ugh, weird. First off, I'm not dating anybody right now. My ex Josh totally broke my heart and I don't trust anybody anymore. But secondly, who is this person? My boo? I don't know a Mike Richards and he's definitely not my boo. He doesn't even go to my school. And how the hell did he get my selfie? My Insta is private. I texted Katie right back. Shady. She said Mike works at a grocery store she goes to and she was going there right now to tell him off. And I was like, wait a second, I am totally coming with you. Normally, I hate confrontation, but this just pissed me off so much. I'm sick of guys who spread rumors about girls just to be cool. It's not okay. We went to the grocery store and I walked straight up to this guy and I expected him to look pissed or even scared. But instead he goes, Lauren, oh my God, you're here. Wait, Lauren? Who the f is Lauren? Also, don't touch me. Ew, gross, no. He tells me he's been talking to this girl named Lauren who looks just like me for months. He said he's been trying to meet up with her, but she's always busy and she has to take care of like her sick aunt or something. I'm sorry, but I don't know you and I've never messaged you. Oh my God, dude, you're being catfished and someone out there is using my pictures to catfish you. But who would do that? I don't know. Looks like it was time for me to put on my detective sunglasses. I told Mike to screenshot everything. They made him give me the phone number this Lauren's been texting from. Me and Katie went back to my house and I searched for info on Lauren's phone number. Don't look so surprised. We've all watched Catfish before. You know what to do. The address linked to the phone number was just on the other side of town. We were both scared to go there, but we decided we had to. I sent like three of my friends the address just in case anything happened to us. On the drive over, I was so, so, so nervous. Who was doing this? Was it a creepy old man in a basement? Was it a kid from school I just never noticed before? Either way, it had to be somebody who followed me on IG. Otherwise, how would they get my pictures? But nobody I'm friends with would do that to me. I don't think. When we got there, I was legit shaking. We knocked on the door and I could see somebody coming. The door opens and it's... Josh? My ex-boyfriend who broke up with me, Josh? What the f***? Um, uh, what are you doing at my dad's house? Are you seriously using my picture to catfish dudes? Uh, no. It started as a joke. Wow, aren't jokes supposed to be funny? That's when Josh told me he missed me so much that he just wanted to see what it felt like to be me? Gross! I felt like he was wearing my skin or something. He said that when he started to get a lot of attention, it just felt so good and he couldn't stop. Well, you're gonna have to, cause this is f***ing crazy. Also, Mike knows and I'm going to the police. Did you know false impersonation is actually a misdemeanor? Thanks, CSI. Looks like I really am a detective. I learned some important things that day. One, my cousin is the best. Binging TV shows can be good for you. And always, always block your ex.